hello, how are you? The other day a colleague was asking me how I could take out more or less how many products are sold in a month in a category on Amazon in a country and how much that category sells for. So it's a data that you have to get with external tools because obviously Amazon is not going to tell you. And it occurred to me that we can approximate using the Helium T black box tool and how to do it. is filtering by category or by subcategory and filtering the main products. Helium T takes out the products 500 at a time when there are a large number of products or it takes them out in limited quantities to 60 something or 100 if there are fewer products in that subcategory. It will depend on the number of products in that subcategory. So this is a filter that works mostly for level one baby type categories and level two categories, which would be baby bedroom. If, for example, you apply it to baby bedroom furniture, you will not get 500 products because within this level three category, there are not so many top sellers as there are fewer products hanging from that sub sub category then the trick is to go to level one or level two categories where there are thousands of products. And from there, we will get figures and we can also get ideas of what is selling the most, for example, in baby bedrooms. Let's take a look. First, we have to go to the products part of black box, select obviously the marketplace and go to the filter section. It is important here to mark what I was telling you, a category or a subcategory. In this case, we had mentioned baby. It would be the mother category. And then we have a bedroom. If we go pulling the thread, we can go down to furniture. From furniture, we can go down to closets. But as I was saying, not having so many products hanging in this sub-subcategory will not get us as many ASINs and what we want is to get the highest number of product cards to know how much is invoiced in that category per month. In this case, I'm going to take a level two category. I'm going to take baby bedroom and everything that hangs from bedroom that is decor, furniture, and bedding. And I'm also going to add a filter that is bestseller rank. The bestseller rank would be number one the one that sells the most and the number 500, then the position 500 of the most sold product, and I give it to apply the filters. If I click on apply filters, then uh, when it is being combed, it processes the data, and like Helium, when there are more than 500 ASINs, it cuts off. So what you get me the first 500, then I export the top 500 products in Excel. the top 500 products in this subcategory baby bedroom. Do not worry if the Excel that is exported puts US in front. The products are from Spain. It is just not renamed correctly. The Excel, when it is downloaded, the products are still those of Spain. And here I can pull the thread to get the next 500 in turnover. I go to the filters. I take the best seller rank 501 up to 1000 and apply filters. And once again, they are combing me out of the top 501,000 in this level two category. And once again, I export the Excel. And now with the two Excels, what I have to do is to consolidate it. And extract data on billings and the number of products being sold. in Amazon and Spain in this level two category, how to consolidate them while well, we are going to fusionar Excel online or merge Excel online. And there we can do it, or we can do it by command line using the CMD or the Amazon command line. I'll leave you for a moment, merge the Excel files and come back. I'm here, I'm here, I've got the Excel merged, the two Excel. Let's see what we can do with these two merged Excels. As we have seen, there are a thousand 
products from the bestseller rank 1 to 1,000. We have taken it out in 2XL from 1 to 500 and from 501 to 1,000. And basically what we can do wonders with this. We can take sort by title and to see which products are repeated, or we can do it by searching for the seller, or we can do it by searching for the brand. But basically what it allows us to do is to see roughly what are the products that, the more they are repeated, what is going to be a parent product and its children, if they are sold by the same brand, by the same seller, etc. So we have a lot of fields here. The type of fulfillment that they have to see if they use more FBA, if they use more of the seller's own fulfillment, or if it is Amazon, which is Amazon vendor, Amazon retail selling this product. We can also see the best seller rank sorted, the main category, the subcategory, the price to take out. I don't know, average prices of the subcategory of wall stickers or take out, I don't know, reviews. of average ratings or number of average reviews of the subcategory category. Sorry, wall stickers. But come on, what we were interested in seeing here is how much dough does this category of baby sleeper bar, and this basically we have it in two columns, monthly sales and monthly revenue. Let's take the monthly sales one. And we see that there are approximately 300 and 1300 and zero monthly sales, okay? Don't forget that this is a tool, so the data are approximate. And let's see these 313 zero monthly sales, how much money they leave. Let's go to monthly revenue. 10.5 million euros, 313 zero orders, 10.5 million euros. Not bad, I don't earn them every day, and besides we could go scratching, seeing if within all this great subcategory that is. Baby bedroom, what is the type of product that sells the most? Hey, so look, we go down here and we see that mattresses sell a lot. Mattresses for cribs also, obviously with Excel formulas. Here we can find out how many times the subcategory is repeated to know if it is predominant or not. Mattress covers, sheet sets, well, blankets, blanket wraps, cooing, wall stickers, and come on, we can do the same too. Interesting thing is to see which of the top thousand are the most important ones. Are the brands that sell the most? Well, look, we have Amazing Girl, Amazon Basics, a million around here. Ambrose, well, we can also go look at the name of the seller because sometimes the brand is one thing, but the seller can sell trippy thousand brands. This one, for example, is repeated. Oof, mother of God. This one is in the top 108 out of the top 1,000 listings. So look, they have more than 10% of the sales of the top products in this subcategory. Amazon, that is Amazon Vendor or Amazon Retail, also has a ton of products. How many of us are here? 113. Okay, Amazon UK, which is also retail, but from the UK. Baby Mussolini, BMS Spain, etc. Daniel Store, etc. So on and so forth. So you can get a map of more or less what is moving in turnover, in orders, what kind of full firm they are using, what kind of seller is behind it, if it is a marketplace seller, or if it is Amazon retail, if there are very strong brands, if there are very strong sellers, and so on. A complete x-ray of the top one, zero products in that subcategory. This, there is no tool that can take it out in one go. So you have to do these little tricks of taking it out 500 at a time. So I hope it has helped you. In the description, I will leave you some discount codes so you can use the IOMDs and get these data yourselves. And hope to see you in the next video. All the best so far.